这一集的《西游记》，我在异乡和失联多年的中学同学久别重逢。I didn't know you. You went to such a. 他让我重新感悟，我们应该如何勇敢的、充实的活出精彩。Light can't exist without darkness. It is here right now, and here we can choose whether to focus on darkness or to look at the light. 两个特点哦，你看我身上不是一身轻，没有行李，因为这一集的目的地就是我的第二家巴黎。那第二个特点呢，就是我要找的这位新加坡人，他其实就是我失散多年的中学同学，对我来说意义非凡。要寻找我的这位中学同学，我首先得到巴黎索邦大学，位于城市北部的校舍。虽然大学离我住家不远，乘搭巴士不到三十分钟就可以抵达。不过旅居国外，不时还是会出现出乎预料的状况。啊、通常他会写那个巴士还有几分钟才会到，可是因为今天大罢工，所以他没有写时间。也就是说，可能我们会等很久，没有关系。<笑>在法国，罢工受到法律保护，各行各业罢工司空见惯。在这里居住四年的我，也渐渐的习以为常。应该要走那边。索邦大学是欧洲历史悠久、名声显赫的大学之一，而我要找的这位新加坡朋友张玉清 （Melissa） 其实是在这所大学修读法国文学学士学位。Bonjour, bonjour. Je voudrais aller à la bibliothèque pour chercher mon ami. Elle fait les études ici. Elle fait les études. Oui. 文学院是索邦大学的学院之一，主要教授欧洲文学、语言、人文和社会科学。其实今天是放假前的最后一天，可是还是有很多学生在这里温书。你看名校就是不一样，大家很用功。明天就要大放假了，圣诞节。我好像看到他，头发长长。四十六岁的张玉清 （Melissa） 是我中学四年的同班同学，也是我的高中同学。后来她升上大学后，我们便渐渐失联了。我来到巴黎才发现，原来她在二零一七年就已经移居到这个城市。现在的她可是一名赫赫有名的摄影师。I am a student. I'm a photographer. And I'm also uh, working uh, for Fong Abbas Photos uh, as a creative director, and so uh, I live many lives at the same time. <laughs> Why are you here? Today is the last day of school, right? Yes. Why are you studying so hard? It's the last day of school, but we have exams in January. Oh, okay. what are you studying? I'm studying a book by Albert Camus. It's about the plague. Oh. And I have to read it in French, but I have the English edition next to it. Otherwise, I'll never make it. Melissa 原本对法语一窍不通，不过移居法国五年后，她却已经普及到能够在大学修读法文和法国文学的水平。
。在这三年的学士学位课程，他也必须熟悉古法文和拉丁文。It's amazing you are doing this in this original language. Actually, I only started three months ago on the first day of school. I didn't know what the teacher was saying. I couldn't write fast enough, and uh, when I went home, I just collapsed in bed and I slept until the next day. <laughs> Too defeated. It was traumatizing. You see, you studied so hard, you didn't even comb your hair. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Let's go for coffee. Why did you decide to come back to school again at this stage of your life? You know, I've always dreamt to study at the Sorbonne, but now that I'm actually living in Paris and I've learned the language, it is time to make this dream come true, no? Right. No matter how difficult it gets. So what kept you going? I have to. It's a revolt against my own ignorance. Because when you have satisfied all your material needs, what's next? Uh, I think it's time to address uh, your, your intellectual and uh, spiritual poverty. How does it feel like to be taking exams and tests at our age? <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> Horrible, it's just a nightmare. That's what I thought. And in French, I know that if I live through this uh, period, right, it, I will come out of it. And also words, they have always been my friend. It's just that they look different now. I just have to learn to recognize them again. And uh, when I have tamed the beast, it will become my faithful companion. With Melissa, don't be afraid. I really feel very excited. Because I met the Melissa, I think the Melissa is a very passionate student. But she is now continuing to study at university and also studying French literature. I think we are all in different stages of life. We all have dreams and aspirations. 但是不是每个人都有这个时间、这个精力跟这个机会，所以我很欣赏他活到老学到老的精神。今天下午 ，Melissa 受邀到一个很特别的地方。Welcome, welcome to the、um, residence of the Singapore Ambassador. Bonjour, Bonjour, Bonjour. 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 原来新加坡驻法国大使福秀丽是 Melissa 摄影作品的拥护者之一。Wow, I have found the perfect spot for Melissa's photo. Your Excellency, why did you pick this work to be hung in such a beautiful room in your residence? Right. First, I'm actually attracted to Melissa's work because it is not what I thought um, photographs should be. The blurry interposition of the colours really give me a sense like this is a piece of impressionist art like the Monet, you know. I'm really happy to find this piece, you know, because uh, it is Park Monso. The Singapore Embassy is just situated um, in front of Park Monso. Come, have some tea. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. okay, thank yeah. you. Your Excellency, uh, when did uh, you... Just call me Tiao Li. <laughs> <laughs> Can I also call her Tiao Li? No, you cannot. She only let me call her Tiao Li. I'm very happy to have my work being shown in Paris in such a beautiful house. So thank you for that. As an ambassador, I'm um, I'm of course very happy to promote um, you know our Singapore artists here, especially when um, you are a female artist. But there is a personal level of correlation I had with this. Actually, what really draws me is that silhouette. To me, it's looking at that branch and perhaps pondering a lot about what autumn will bring. That's the beauty of your work, how we get different things out of the same photo. And I think that Melissa is not a Meng so her work can definitely be the top of the world. 我这位青梅竹马的朋友，能够有今天的成就，他背后一定付出很多努力。接下来的这几天，我希望能够更深一层的进入他的艺术世界。我在法国巴黎和我的中学同学张玉清 （Melissa） 重逢。从事十四年摄影工作的他，在二零二零年十一月出版了他的第三本图书《巴黎的树
，Melissa 花了超过一年的时间在巴黎各个公园取景。书里的五十四张照片，想要探讨的是人类和自然之间神圣奥妙的关系。To me, there exists an invisible world vibrating with、um, energy and emotions that escapes the naked eye, but can be captured by the camera. So I use the camera to translate the invisible to a visible form. 虽然当时正好碰上新冠疫情的爆发，不过 Melissa 的书还是广受好评，所以出版社目前正考虑再版。哎 ，Look my book！ 哇 ，I mean， so this is the office of my publisher. Come. Oh, hello, bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour. bonjour. Please to introduce you to Valerie. Bonjour, bonjour. Didier. Didier. Enchanté. Enchanté. Vous êtes le publisher. Oui. Um, Sylvain Tesson. Bonjour. bonjour. He's the writer who wrote the preface of the book. Vous êtes vous êtes célèbre en France. <laughs> 法国著名作家兼探险家 Sylvain Tesson 以旅行类游记探讨人类和自然生态的关系。在看过 Melissa 的作品后，他便一口答应为巴黎的树书写序文。Écoutez, moi j'habite depuis t r e n ans à Paris. Et、je passe tous les jours devant le jardin des plantes ou les Tuileries, et je n'avais jamais vu le Paris les comme, comme ça. ça. Jamais. <rire> Alors que je les connais tous, et je n'avais pas compris qu'il y avait un autre plan de réalité. Mais je n'avais pas compris qu'il y avait une âme dans les arbres. Alors grâce à Melissa, elle a enlevé le voile. Je suis très fière de toi, oh mon Dieu. En fait, la vie de la vie de la vie a été très difficile. Parce que la vie de la vie a été très difficile. Parce que la vie de la vie a été très difficile. Parce que la vie de la vie a été très difficile. 其实 ，Melissa 在成为摄影师之前，是这家出版社在新加坡分行的总编辑。So this was the book that changed my destiny. Thailand Nine Days in the Kingdom. It's a big book for the King of Thailand's eighty-first birthday. We invited fifty-five photographers, and when I was editing all the pictures, it was I felt this urge to shoot, and I saw this. Different perspectives of the same subject, and I thought I have a perspective as well, and I wanted to explore that. So I dashed out and bought a camera. From the moment I clicked open the camera,、uh, it felt like my Pandora's box, and I felt why was it that at that time I had everything I would one could ever ask for in life, it was still not enough. I felt this terrible void inside me, emptiness. And I couldn't explain, and I wanted to change my life and to to re re look at the world through the lens of my camera. The camera gives me hope that I can live a richer and fuller existence. 一年后，在二零零八年 ，Melissa 辞掉了她高薪的编辑工作，从零开始学习摄影。What were your family's reactions to your sudden switch in career? They were very anxious and worried for me, of course, because、uh, I didn't even know how to use the camera, and、uh, I wasn't a photographer. So how was I going to make a living to support myself? But the urge was greater than reason, and so I followed that. And you have always been someone who follow your heart. Yes. 三十三岁辞掉工作 ，Melissa 花了十多年的时间琢磨摄影。如今，他的作品以他独特的印象派风格闻名。I really admire your work, Melissa. How did you even arrive at this style? So it was by trial and error because I just kept trying the different buttons. I didn't know what they meant. I didn't know what was shutter speed, what was aperture. So you basically. Take the machine, 
this apparatus and try to figure things out. Yeah. <laughs> and then I thought, oh, how come, why are the images blur? And I didn't really understand and mm -hmm. it was just too much to try to make sense of the manual. Mm. But then eventually I thought, uh, why not stay with this style? My partner, Abbas, used to give advice to young photographers. He said um, to shoot, buy a good pair of walking shoes and fall in love. Melissa在花园中漫步,我深切地感受到冬天的降临。巴黎的树这本书其实就是Melissa在许许多多花园漫步的日子中的记录。this is the exact angle from which I took this picture. So these figures here could just be like the trunks of the tree and the umbrellas could just be like uh, flowers. Wow. You must have seen something to make you stop at this spot. You know, it was just, no, I, I just reacted to the way the uh, the colours moved when the people dropped the umbrellas. I, mm. I, I just reacted and I took the pictures without thinking. So that's the process, you know, you're not supposed to try to compose a picture, mm. but rather mm. to, to react to this, uh, this force inside you that tells you, shoot now, boom, and you do it. The best ones are the ones I took without thinking. For Melissa, the camera is the third eye, and is the third eye, and the third eye is the third eye. 而冥想是他在创作过程中不可或缺的一部分. Once a Buddhist monk told me that what we see at the very first instance is only light and colour. Um, it is only after we have passed this through the filters of our education, experience, uh, preconceptions and prejudices that this starts to make sense and uh, uh, take shape. So then we start finding fault with it. So in fact, it is judgement that causes suffering. Melissa希望她的照片不带有个人先前持有的观念或批判，而是在肉眼理解之前，通过光的指引而捕捉。So in my photography, I'm trying to erase all the lines that separate us, us from nature, us from one another, and us from our higher selves. So and I'd like to erase all the definitions and only keep the light and color. 不过。巴黎的树背后的始源，其实源自Melissa所经历的失去和哀伤。二零一八年，Melissa十年的伴侣，知名全球的摄影师Abbas逝世。when that happened, I never thought I could uh, ever bear to touch the camera again because everything I knew about photography, he taught me. And so I spent my time uh, in the gardens of Paris and in my silence and solitude. It was the trees that um, spoke to me. And so I came um, every day and uh, I would walk 10, 20 kilometers a day. And little by little, I was able to start taking pictures again. And the result was uh, this book. Would you fly away with me? So many things we've never seen. So is so this your sort of your tribute I've to Abbas and the way you deal with your grief? The trees um, stood in for the pillars that I had lost. And he was your main pillar? He was. Uh, I'm wondering why didn't you look for me? <laughs> Because I was in Paris in 2018. I didn't know you you went through it's okay. such a was it because you know friends friends were not enough? No no. Some things have to be done alone. If you want to shoot, it has to be done in solitude and in silence. And so it was essential. So does that mean that the whole process has helped you heal in some ways? I don't think I'll ever heal fully, but at least uh, they have helped me pass this really difficult stage of my life. The process of creation could be a cathartic one as well. 
perhaps that act itself uh, kept me close to him even though um, he was no longer here. What is Abba's biggest influence on you? Um, he gave me the gift of light. 2007年, Melissa在出版社和Abbas结缘 来自伊朗的Abbas是知名的马格南摄影通讯社摄影师 从70年代开始就专注于拍摄动乱纷争 后来则把拍摄重心转向有关信仰和灵性课题 He really cared about the world He cared about people And uh, he engaged uh, with it through his work and so it was him who showed me by example what spirituality meant. I was searching the world looking for answers when they were in fact uh, right next to me. Melissa and Abbas together,到世界各地进行摄影工作。十年后,他才来到法国巴黎和Abbas定居。Abbas既是Melissa的伴侣,也是开创他摄影生涯的恩师。Photography um, as Abbas like to you, uh, say to um, illustrate his work, is writing with light. But to me, it could also be written by light. A photograph could be a translator of light's messages. I like to see my photography as not me trying to say something with the work, but rather what the work is trying to tell me. So this is where I live. Is this where you live with Abbas? Yeah. Well, I prefer to be closer to the memories than away from them. This is a picture I took at the cemetery of Mama. Mm. This image shows very well my views on uh, life and death because you see a shadow of a tree yes. and two figures coming out like as if they're coming out of the shadows walking towards the light. I think um, life it doesn't end with death but rather we come out of a darkness and head towards um, the light and it's like the soul's journey towards enlightenment. Perhaps it is not heaven or hell waiting for us in the afterlife, but rather it is here right now that we can choose to live in heaven or in hell by every decision that we take, whether we choose to focus on darkness or to look at the light. And it's up to us to decide. Abbas Melissa和她的四个儿子还有孙女一起创办了Fong Abbas Photos, Abbas摄影传承，为的就是保存并继续传承Abbas一生的摄影事业。Right now, I'm preparing a, uh, an exhibition next year and a retrospective book the following year. And so I have to work on those. Uh, you must be very busy. But I mean, it's beautiful work, right? So it's such a pleasure to uh, be able to work on this too. I really like this one. Because you see a bunch of schoolgirls, but when they are joined together like this, they, are they like look like one. spirits. Yes, you know? it's true. Yeah. You know what spoke to me is this particular photo. You can feel because it's a huge crowd and you can feel her loneliness and she's just shut off, just her and the dead. To me, it feels like it's a reflection of actually what you went through and maybe you are still going through now. Why is it so important for you to continue to work on Abbas's photographs? Well, it feels as though he's still next to me. Do this. I can see that he is very interested in working on Abbas's life. Maybe he can get a little bit of information from this big project. But I think he is also starting to start again with a new 
，坚强的过他自己的生活。北部的蒙马特，蒙马特是多个世纪以来艺术家的聚集地，而这里也是我的中学同学、新加坡人张玉清 （Melissa） 过去四年的家。The energy in this place is very different from the rest of Paris, and、um, yeah, it's like a little village on its own.、Mm. I'm going to take you to meet my friend, who is my neighbor, Abbas's best friend. And my professor, the Francais Guy Sibon, the great journalist. Wow, now I'm a bit nervous. Does <laughs> must be? We have to speak French. <laughs> yeah. Let me practice now. I'm not allowed to speak in any other language. Bonjour, Guy. <laughs> Voilà, Guy. Bonjour, bonjour, Guy. Je m'appelle Sharon. Enchanté. Salut, Sharon. C'est une amie d'enfance. Enchanté. Qui vit maintenant à Paris. Ah, vous vivez à Paris maintenant. Oui, maintenant. Mais... Je travaille ici pendant quatre ans. Alors voilà ici. Melissa 是透过已故的伴侣 Abbas 认识 Guy Sibon 这位记者兼作家。他和 Abbas 超过五十年的友情源自阿尔及利亚。C'était un reporter professionnel depuis longtemps, et là c'était un jeune homme qui commençait. À faire des photos. Oh, oh là là! Voilà. Comme ça, le monde entier saura ça. Voilà. <rire> Merci. Depuis combien de temps vous êtes-vous rencontrés? Et quand il est parti, quand il est, quand il est mort, ma femme aussi est mort. Et ça nous a beaucoup rapproché, Melissa et moi. Puis elle avait la même passion que moi pour la langue française. Donc vous êtes devenu la force de sa vie. La force, c'est elle. Elle, car il lui est arrivé、hein, le plus grand malheur、mm. qui puisse arriver, et elle l'a, elle a vécu avec un courage formidable.、Mm. Quand Abbas nous a quitté,、mm. qu'il était très gentil avec moi,、mm. uh, il reste très gentil avec moi, et il m'a présenté aux amis, et il m'a appris la langue. C'est grâce à lui que j'avais le courage de m'inscrire、mm. à la Sorbonne.、Mm. Et, et c'est là le l'exploit extrêmement rare, c'est qu'elle est en train de devenir une, Fran une française réelle.、Oui. Elle devient réellement, je dis, c'est une renaissance, c'est une deuxième vie à l'intérieur de la langue française. Donc effectivement, ça, voilà, ça c'est l'inspiration pour renaissance. 我很欣慰 ，Melissa 在她最痛苦、空虚的时候，她仍然可以敞开心房，接受她周围的好朋友的帮助跟鼓励。很多时候，当我们陷入很忧郁的状况的时候，我们身边即使有再多的亲朋戚友想要帮助我们，但是如果我们继续的封闭起来，我们还是很难的走出这个痛苦的深渊的。过去几年 ，Melissa 和 Abbas 的家人也变得更亲密。今天下午，她要为他们一家准备新加坡的海南鸡饭。Wow, but Abbas made me very lucky. Ah,、uh. other than chicken rice, what else do you cook? I'm a one-trick pony. Oh, so chicken rice, chicken rice, chicken yeah, rice. Yeah. But they're quite happy with the one trick. Oh my gosh, who is this? Elisa, 原来视讯的另一端是 Melissa 住在纽西兰的妹妹。Is it possible? This is Ella and Leila. No way. Look, and do you remember? The children are so grown up. Wait, I have to, I have to keep cooking. What? Can you hold the phone?、Hmm? Do you remember chicken rice? No. Wait, no. No, I, I cook for you. I cook for you. Oh yeah. You forgotten? They're enjoying school. They're so much school this year, though. We've been locked down for four months. <laughs> come to Paris. Come to Paris. Come and see us in Paris. We wish all of you safe and well, and we hope to see you soon. 
You too. Yeah, and send our love to also your dad. Come and see me soon, okay? Bye. Oh, oh my god, Layla and Alex. Wait, wait, I oh need my to take god. the chicken out. You know, I don't feel like time has passed or I'm, I'm very old until I see children. How often do you all keep in contact? Well, whenever we can, there's no fixed uh, period. How does her mom feel with you relocating away from her, she's living okay. alone in Paris? She's okay about it. So but you miss them or not? Yeah, of course. Mm. Of course. Then how will you miss them? Just <laughs> again, keep inside. Yeah. Yeah, I used an Iranian rice pot. It creates a crust below. Mm. And so this is a Singaporean Iranian chicken rice. <gasps> I'll okay. Show, I'll show you how I flip. Yes. Oh, I hope it works. Oh, oh yes! Oh, it's so beautiful. The inside, this is a It's like we a We are here. Chicken rice. <laughs> they smell the smell of the chicken rice. Follow the smell. <laughs> Hello, How are you? Baby. Good kids, we shall do a hug. Good kids, hi. <laughs> Aham is Abba's four sons. He is Joanna and his Valentina are also in Bali. The Singaporean Iranian chicken rice. Ah, yeah. <laughs> and so the crust, right? But it's called tadig. Que ça comme ça. Ça va comme ça? Salad. Oh, thank you and so much for cooking. The chili oh, yeah. sauce. So, chili sauce? Sharon, yes. please. Okay. Please. Let me know. Feedback. Mm. The fragrance is très, très bon. I was going to say, my grandmother would be proud of you. you know, Abbas's mother, mm. she used to do the best crust, so she'd be proud of you because the crust oh. is actually not that easy to make good. How important to you, you know, as a family, to yeah. be able to see each other, to exactly. catch up? Abbas, he left two legacies, mm -hmm. his work and the family. Yes. And these lunches were part of his tradition, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. Although, in the past, like when we were younger, he used to have them every week. And I think he got tired of us. <laughs> so, it was every two weeks when he was here, you know. But then, every three weeks. <laughs> and then, every three weeks. And then he came back to maybe a bit more. So, what's your title in the family? Great grand girlfriend. Great grand girlfriend, you know. So, yeah. I love this name. I, I, I absolutely embrace yeah. great grand girlfriend. <laughs> Because she already has great grandchildren, right? Exactly, that's why she is the great grand girlfriend, and for us, she's like a big sister. I'm very lucky. I <laughs> like an instant uh, family. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You know, there's acceptance just because we love each other so much that whoever you're with, you know, represents that love as well, right? Yeah. So you get yeah. the love, everyone gets that love. Yeah. That's how we were brought up, right? Yeah, but Melissa, how did you assimilate so quickly and seamlessly into this huge family? Yeah. Did you make extra effort or you just be yourself? I mean, look at them. Do you need to make extra effort? <laughs> no need. Fan Xiao Zhi Yu, I did not forget that I had an important mission. I was just saying that today is Sunday, so I wanted to make Melissa a cook of Thanggyuan. 这可是我第一次制作汤圆。Je casse. Oui, madame. 还好厨房有一位小帮手。Soixante grammes de sucre. Oui, directement comme ça. Un, deux, trois, ça aussi. Merci. Wow. Tu es prête parce que il faut utiliser tes mains. Attends. Tu vas essayer. Tu vas essayer. Forcément, forcément, oui. Yes. Oh, tu vois, c'est très similaire. C'est très similaire. C'est très similaire. 我现在要出去，让大家能够亲自体验这个做汤圆的乐趣。安度托，舒服。哇，这是什么 surprise？ 哇，哇，做汤圆的 workshop。Yeah. Yeah. Okay, on what day, Karen? Uh, merci pour être très créatif, mais non. In Chinese, the word 团圆 means to reunion, to reunite. It, the yuan also means home, round. Ah, so you can't okay. make it any no, other shape. Okay. Yeah. okay. Say five times a day. Wow. This one, white. Why not a blue? It's a blonde because on blue, there's a lot of color. 
Ok, rouge, uh, rose, ah rose. Bon? Mais, oui. oui, mais aujourd'hui, uh, we forgot to bring the coloring. <laughs>在冬至煮一碗斑斓叶姜汁汤圆真的是又窝心又窝肺吃汤圆大家团团圆圆祝大家身体健康上菜了冬至是北半球全年白昼最短黑夜最长的一天过了今晚白天会一天天变长也意味
Moses Slim is Tanhatek, Nicholas Lee is Ronnie, Canessa Lopez is Denise and Singapore's funniest family. <laughs> But that was it, right? <laughs> yes. And you did it spot on. Yeah. Accent spot on. Mm -hmm. How often do you guys meet? Every few weeks. It's, yeah, like oh. once yeah, a month, I suppose. Weeks. But now, for me, it's a little different because I just moved uh, to the south of ah. France. Yeah. You know, past two years have been really challenging for yeah. all of us. How, how did you navigate through the period of COVID-19? For me, it was a great time uh, uh, because I think it was uh, incredible to rediscover Paris uh, uh, during these times. So the, it was spectacular to, to walk in the streets. So they were completely empty. Uh, oh, we had never okay. seen this. Uh, yeah. You can so, really enjoy the yeah, Paris. It was, uh, it was weird that the silence and, and there was this sort of weird feeling that you didn't know what was going to happen. So you were kind of scared, but uh, excited at the same time. It's true. We didn't know it's going to last so long. Yeah, that's the problem. Although the pandemic is still continuing, but over the past few days, with Melissa's close contact, I found out that our relationship and commitment didn't fade away because of time passing. What are the chances of that to meet the destiny? I must say, though. After not having seen you for so long and knowing what that um, what you have accomplished in your life, I'm really proud of you. Good job. You don't always like that cry. You know when you cry, I always cry. Okay. No, I don't know how to continue. <laughs> I mean, thank you for saying such things to make me cry. But having said that, let me sort of present something. To you. Okay. <laughs> Mahjong. <laughs> <laughs> Mahjong. Okay, part two coming up. Hello, Melissa. In case you think you come to the wrong house, this is the right house. Home is where I'll be. Here, the balcony, they are still the same. All your favorite three, your friends here. With this COVID, unfortunately, we are separated, but I think it's good that you are surrounded with beautiful trees in Paris. But I also want you to know, whether rain or shine, the trees are waiting for you. <clears throat> I can tell she misses you a lot. Mm. No matter how much she wants you to be by her side, she would never ask that of you because she knows she wouldn't want to clip your wings. Thanks, Mom. You know there's always a home for you. You know I'd always love to see you. 我希望通过这次的分享，莫雷瑟的妈妈可以很放心。莫雷瑟，她虽然一个人住，但是她一点都不孤单。她周围有很多很支持她思想的文人，这就是莫雷瑟需要的。Where <笑> Don't you recognize? <laughs> 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 I'm not very good at doing this. Do you do it? <laughs> My mom's spider butter has been consumed within maximum three days. So obviously it has gone bad, but I can still see the S. Okay, I think this is fine. I think this is fine. <laughs> 
Okay, it's not fine. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mom. Thank you. I can finish a whole bottle by myself. This few days with Melissa, I learned a little bit. That is how to treat death and death. How to treat death and death. 这个丧失的沮丧跟低落，他教我，我们做人一定要学会拥抱黑暗。如果我们没有拥抱黑暗，那我们怎么去欣赏一片光明灿烂的未来？我觉得 Melissa 就是那道烛光，它照亮了我。